Good morning, friends. It is a good morning. And what's on my mind today? Well, what was on my mind today is that I was going to talk to you about the state of the coronavirus epidemic in Mexico. Um, Lynn and I did have a trip out, an essential trip. Once a month, Lynn has to go to um, an IMSS clinic to get her meds for the month. And uh, one of the things that I found out was I asked her doctor if she was aware of any COVID cases here on the north shore of Lake Chapala, and she reported to me that she did not. Um, only in Tietzapan del Alto, which is a smaller town across the lake on the south shore. So that was very good news. Um, I'm not sure I believe it, but... <laughs> I hear a duck quacking. Let's go see what's going on. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. It's my timer. I'm making cinnamon rolls. Mm, it can rise a little more. What I started to say was, I'm not sure I believe that uh, there are no cases here. I think uh, nobody's testing, and if they do get a case of people with uh, COVID symptoms here uh, um, in Ajijic or Chapala, they probably send them off to a hospital in Guadalajara. So saying there are none here is probably uh, a guess at best. Anyway... That's all the COVID news I'm going to give you because my brother sent me an email this morning and it changed my mind about what's on my mind today. We're all going through a, a crisis in the world and uh, he sent me something that was titled, uh, Let's Keep Things in Perspective. Uh, it's probably something that's going around the internet, so you may have heard something similar to it or, or read it on Facebook yourself already, but um, for those of you who watch my channel, you know that I announced uh, a couple of weeks ago that my 102-year-old mother had passed. So this email was something that uh, my brother sent me about keeping things in perspective with all that's going on in the world today and reflect upon all the things that went on in mom's life during her lifetime. I rewrote it um, from a general thing about keep all these things in mind to uh, what happened to mom along her long and happy life. And I'm going to read it, but uh, the reason is because I was moved by it and I wanted to share it with you. It's about perspective. It's a mess out there now and it's hard to discern between what's real as a threat and what is just simple panic and hysteria as you see empty shelves at the grocery store. For a small amount of perspective at this moment, imagine if you were born in 1918, like my mother. She was one of the first born at the end of World War I to replace the 22 million people who had died in that war. In the first two years of her life, my grandpa and grandmother had to worry about her as 50 million people died from the Spanish flu, 25 million people per year, 50 million. On her 11th birthday, the Great Depression began. She lived in the Dust Bowl of Nebraska with no food coming from the gardens and too much dust in the air to breathe easily. 
And when there was food, it was often chewed with grit that was everywhere. Unemployment hit 25% in the world. The world GDP dropped 27%. And when she was 15, the country nearly collapsed along with the world economy. Life was challenging. When mom turned 21, the World War II started. And by the time she was 27, 75 million people had died fighting for freedom. Smallpox was an epidemic until she was in her late 30s, and it killed 300 million people. When she was 38, the Korean War started, and 5 million people perished. From her birth until she was 40, she dealt with the fear of polio epidemics every summer, she had friends and family who got polio and were paralyzed, and some died. Her worry and her fear in her 40s was that her kids, me and my brother, might have to go to the Vietnam War, where four million guys like me died. During the Cold War, we lived every day with the fear of nuclear annihilation. And as a mother during all of my childhood and teenage years, she worried about that Cold War and the tipping point came during the Cuban Missile Crisis, which brought the world close to ending life as we know it on the planet. So you think of everyone on the planet who was born along with my mother during those years, and how did they endure all of that? If you were a kid in the 80s or 90s, and you don't think your grandma understood how hard school was, or how mean that kid in your class was, remember she survived through everything listed above. Perspective is an amazing thing. Let's try and keep things in perspective. Your parents and your grandparents were called to endure all of those things above. And once again, we are called to endure a crisis in the world. You are called to stay home and endure sitting on your couch and watching YouTube videos. That's perspective. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.